Streaming live on News8000.com, this is News 8 Now, this morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm Alexandra Carter. It is Friday. We've made it to Friday, February 23rd, 2024. Checking in now with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl. Uh, Bill, you don't have the best news for us heading into the weekend, do you? Yeah, we've got uh, a little bit of everything uh, heading into the weekend. We've got chillier conditions on the way for today, uh, but it is looking dry for the weekend. Some low 40s tomorrow, low to mid 40s, and then lower 50s on Sunday. But boy, how about yesterday? All that sunshine in the afternoon. We briefly spiked out at 63 degrees out at the La Crosse Airport, tying a record set in 2017. And you can see also 60 plus degrees in Black River Falls, Sparta, Volkfield, even low to mid 60s down in Prairie du Chien and Boscobel. Clear that 56 just missed tying a record by one degree. Kind of a neat shot through City Cam. That almost full moon will be full tomorrow, setting in our western sky. Again, there's that record tying high of 63 after a chilly start, 24 the low, well above the average high of 36. The record today will stay safe. It is 62 set in 2000. So clouds starting to increase from the north. That's where a cold front will drop quickly southward across the region today. Current temperatures in the 20s to lower 30s, and we will see highs today on either side of 40. And that cold front could squeeze out some rain and snow showers in spots this afternoon and early this evening. More details on my forecast coming up at about 612. Stay, with, uh, stay tuned. All right, Bill, we will see you then. Thank you. Time now for the headlines making news this morning. Today, Republican candidates are making a final push to get their supporters to the primary polls tomorrow. Former President Donald Trump and the state's former Governor Nikki Haley will be on opposite, opposite sides of the state for campaign events. Christian Benavides has the latest on the Palmetto State's primary race from the campaign trail. Wow, thank you very much. Former President Donald Trump and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley facing off this Saturday in her home state. This is the time South Carolina can really step up. On the campaign trail yesterday, Haley touted a new poll showing she has a better chance of defeating President Biden than Trump. Donald Trump can't win a general election. Look at any of the polls. But heading into this Saturday's contest, Trump has a commanding lead over Haley among likely GOP voters. If you don't carry your home state, you're gonna have a tough time winning down the road. Haley has also faced scrutiny in recent days over comments regarding an Alabama Supreme Court ruling, which granted frozen embryos used in in vitro fertilization the same rights as children. We need to make sure that embryos are protected I personally believe an embryo is a baby. I took historic action to protect the unborn. Yesterday in Tennessee, Trump did not address the IVF ruling. Early voting in South Carolina ended yesterday. According to the state's election commission, more than 160,000 voters already cast their ballots in the GOP primary race. U.S. officials are going through recently leaked documents from a Chinese tech firm. According to U.S. cybersecurity officials, the documents allegedly offer evidence on how the Chinese government used the company during hacking campaigns. The documents were anonymously posted online last weekend and included chat logs, records of employees, and even Chinese government clients. This comes one month after the FBI and other top U.S. officials warned Congress that a different set of unrelated Chinese hackers infiltrated critical U.S. infrastructure. Planned Parenthood of Wisconsin is asking the state Supreme Court to overturn the 1849 abortion ban in a petition to the high court. The organization asking the justices to declare the law unconstitutional before letting any lower courts rule first. This comes as liberals control the state Supreme Court for the first time in 15 years. Last year, Democratic Attorney General Josh Call won a ruling stating the 1849 ban only prohibits feticide. Planned Parenthood is seeking a much broader ruling that would confirm a right to abortion under the state constitution. And new legislative district maps signed into law are redrawing the political landscape across the Badger State and right here in the Cooley region. News 8 Now's Allison Fergit has those details for us. It's the end of an era in Wisconsin politics. <laughs>
New state legislative maps will be in play for the November election, and it's a shakeup that has big consequences for local representatives. According to a Marquette Law analysis, Wisconsin's 96th district will now have a strong Democratic lean. It's currently represented by Republican Lauren Oldenburg. As you see on your screen, the orange shaded area shows the old district, and the blue area is the new boundary. The district used to span Monroe, Vernon, and Crawford counties. It now spans just Vernon County and parts of Southern La Crosse County. Local Republicans say they're not happy about the new boundaries. The new maps, I think, are disappointing. Roger Call, the chairman of the Vernon County Republican Party, disagrees with La Crosse County being a part of other legislative districts. Strictly a effort to get a majority of the Democratic Party joined with other assembly districts to give an advantage to one party. Call says he's still confident Oldenburg can win. Lauren's uh, a very good assemblyman right now. Uh, he's been in office for a few years and learned a lot of the, the skills necessary to work with both sides of the aisle and get his bills through. When he talks to people, they'll realize that uh, he's, a, he's a good candidate. Another district seeing big changes, the 94th. It's been one of the state's most competitive seats. Although it leans Republican, Democrat Steve Doyle has represented it since 2011. Marquette Law says the new boundaries will keep the district competitive, but Doyle will have to cover new land, as the district now reaches further north into Trempolo County. Like Call, Trempolo Republicans are frustrated to see their county districts split differently. And the southeastern part, down by Trempolo is also being um, taken away from our district and, and shoved into the La Crosse Assembly District and uh, losing part of their identity and homogenous uh, uh, characteristics. Doyle will be faced with introducing himself to new voters in Trempolo, something Republicans see as an advantage. I think that it's a great chance to uh, flip this seat to the Republican side. The maps are not even a week old, but local reactions promise a competitive and contentious 2024 election cycle. In La Crosse, Allison Fergit, News 8 Now, this morning. The largest organic farming conference in the nation cropping up at the La Crosse Center this week. For 35 years, the Marble Seed Organic Farming Conference has given organic farmers an opportunity to dig into some of the latest methods and build community. This year's event features speakers, workshops and panels to help grow the future of the organic movement. I think my favorite part is just, yeah, seeing everybody gathered. I mean, the organic community is a diverse community and so to just have the the energy in this building when everybody's here it just the building just vibrates she added that wisconsin has the second largest number of organic farms in the nation the conference will be at the lacrosse center through tomorrow and also happening this weekend marcus theaters and movie tavern cinemas will show films featuring prominent african-american actors in honor of Black History Month. Those films include The Color Purple, Origin, Girls Trip, and Tyler Perry's A Medea Family Funeral. The films will be shown from today till next Thursday, February 29th. Tickets are $5 a person. If you'd like to attend one of the shows, you can order tickets at the website at the bottom of your screen. The time now is 6.07, still to come on your morning news. Beyond Meat, releasing a new protein-packed plant-based burger. We'll take a look at that and tell you where to find it in just a few minutes. You ever wonder which profession has the most ethical and honest people? I'm Jared Hill, the results of a new poll and why experts think support for number one is slipping. And for now, we're sending you to break with something to put the good in your morning. Iconic actor James Hong celebrated his 95th birthday yesterday by sticking his hands and feet in cement. It wasn't just ordinary cement, it was at the famed TCL Chinese Theater in Hollywood. The event celebrated his milestone birthday, his illustrious seven decade career, and the release of his upcoming film, Kung Fu Panda 4. Guest speakers included his Everything Everywhere All at Once directors and actress and producer Lucy Liu. Hong, who has hundreds of credits to his name, now joins a list of Hollywood legends who have been immortalized in cement. That includes Humphrey Bogart and Jack Nicholson. Well, congrats to him. Look at that giant panda there. Don't go anywhere. Your consumer news at News 8 Now this morning is after the break.
Stressless by Eckerness. The most comfortable seating in the world is more comfortable than ever. It's on sale now at Drury's and Fountain. Every year, Eckerness updates styles and leathers, and that means outstanding values. And now we're passing these savings on to you. It's time for you to enjoy the incredible comfort of a stressless sofa or recliner in your home. Now at Fantastic Savings. A stressless recliner is your place. A place to relax. A place to unwind. Stressless furniture on sale now at Drury's and Fountain. You know, in my lifetime, I've been knocked around a few times. No matter how many times you get knocked down, hell, you got to get up off the turf. Back pain, knee pain, you name it, I had it. But when I walked into the Good Feet store and got fitted for arch support, I feel so much better. Very little pain in my back. I feel no pain in my knee. It is nothing like it. No matter who you are, whatever position you hold, in some way, we can help somebody. And that's what the Good Feet store does. They help you keep going with life. At Pediatric Dentistry of Onalaska, we know children, which is why we strive to make every visit to the dentist a positive experience. Our gentle, friendly approach is why we've been providing care for over 25 years. Whether it's routine cleanings, sealants, fluoride, or cavities and crowns, we have the gentle hands to make your children comfortable. At Pediatric Dentistry of Onalaska, we are here to help your children start a lifetime of healthy dental habits. Ruggability. We straight made that word up. How else to describe the otherwise indescribable, rugged, capable, incredible versatility and affordability of a Honda SUV? Kelly Blue Books KBB.com calls Honda the best value brand. Car and Driver calls Honda the winningest brand in 10 best history. But we like Ruggability. And you'll like the Incredifantabulous deals. So see your Wisconsin Heartland Honda dealer today. Honda gets Wisconsin. There's no better time to get started on your 2024 outdoor living project than the 2024 Early Bird Home Show, which is only at the board store. Visit our showroom, explore the possibilities, patio covers, operable pergolas. For year-round living, consider the cabin room or the more traditional room. Stop in, arrange for a prompt free estimate on your 2024 outdoor living project during the 2024 Early Bird Home Show, only at the board store. At Excel Energy, we're big into the little things. Because little things add up. Millions of even the smallest steps are just that. Millions of steps, all in the right direction. That's why we have programs that save you money. All of which add up to a carbon-free future. See how you can save at ExcelEnergy.com slash ways to save. Hey, welcome back and a good Friday morning to you. It is 611. Check of the school cast for today. It does include chillier conditions, so keep that in mind as you get the little ones ready for school today. They're going to need some warmer clothes. 31 at 7 a.m., 40 by lunchtime, but temperatures actually fall a few degrees this afternoon as a cold front comes through and brings a chance for some rain and snow showers scattered about the region as well. So I've got yellow paws for this afternoon and evening due to that precip chance and the chillier temperatures for our dog walking forecast. Look at this handsome fella. This is Walter hoping to walk with Sharon. Sharon tells me that Walter is always ready for a walk. Boy, I love love the ears on labs. Uh, so, so cute. What a handsome guy. All right, uh, that full moon, almost full. It'll be full tomorrow, setting in our western sky. You can see a few clouds around it as those clouds will start to increase from the north with that cold front passage, which will bring chillier temperatures today. That chance of afternoon rain and snow showers. Uh, this weekend's looking dry, though. 40s tomorrow, generally low to mid 40s and then low 50s for highs on Sunday. So clouds to the north, those will continue to sag southward as the cold front does the same. Current temperatures primarily in the 20s to right around 30 degrees and we will see highs today uh, ranging from the lower 30s far north to the mid 40s far south right around 40 here in the cross. And again, keep an eye on those rain and snow shower chances for this afternoon. I will have the rest of my eight day forecast coming up in about three and a half minutes.
In your consumer news this morning, standardized test scores will once again help determine who gets into Yale University. Thursday, school officials said they found test scores were the single best predictor of students' academic success, which is why the Ivy League school will once again require prospective students to submit a test result. Yale and many other colleges dropped standardized test requirements when the COVID-19 pandemic hit. But when Yale analyzed its current students to see how they were doing, a correlation between test scores and academic performance emerged. If you're trying to eat healthier, Beyond Meat is unveiling the newest version of its plant-based burgers. These were making quite the buzz in our newsroom this morning. It is the fourth version of their meatless patties. The company says the new patty features avocado oil instead of canola and coconut oils and has more protein and less sodium. At 230 calories per serving, it has 2 grams of saturated fat and 21 grams of protein. The revamped burger is an attempt to lure cons consumers back with new ingredients amid slumping sales. Well, those looking forward to flying nonstop between Australia and New York or London will have to wait a little bit longer. Qantas record-breaking project Sunrise flights have been pushed back to mid-2026. The carrier blaming manufacturing delays with the customized Airbus Ultra Long Range Jumbo Jets. Airbus says regulators asked the company to modify the center fuel tanks on the A350 1000s. The Australian airliner ordered 12 planes for the 19-hour flights from Sydney to New York or London. Don't they look luxurious? Well, which professions have the most honest people? That is the question a new poll asked, and Jared Hill has the answer for us. We all have opinions of different professions, but which one has the most ethical and honest people? A nurse. Mm, why? Um, they're real angels. My mother was a nurse. She was the best nurse in the world. Um, God bless them. They're there when the doctors aren't there. And many people agree. In a new poll, Americans rate nurses as being the most honest and ethical, followed by veterinarians, engineers, dentists, and then doctors. For this 22nd year consecutively now, Nurses have come out on the very top of this list. Muhammad Yunus is editor-in-chief of Gallup, which conducted the poll. He says even though nurses remain on top, the opinion of their profession is declining. In 2019, 85% of people put nurses' ethics and honesty at high or very high. In the latest survey, it dropped seven points. Doctors and pharmacists also saw their ratings decline, a big change since the beginning of the pandemic, especially from people identifying with one political party. Republicans have grown increasingly negative on those professions um, and on uh, the pharmaceutical industry in particular. Democrats were more likely to have negative views of police officers, clergy, and bankers. But members of both parties agree on who should be at the bottom of the list. Stockbrokers, advertisers, car salespeople, and the least trusted profession in America, lawmakers in Washington. As for journalists, we rank 14th out of the 23 professions polled just one step ahead of lawyers. All right, that does it for your morning consumer news. The time now is 6.16. Let's check in with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl and get a look at today's forecast. I wonder where meteorologists rank on that list, Bill. Got to be in the top five, right? Uh, I mean, we won't always get it correct 100%, but uh, 89, 90% is where the accuracy, uh, accuracy rate is. So uh, I think that's pretty good. I would rate teachers high as well. My mom was a teacher and one of my sisters is a teacher as well. Love teachers. Uh, they are an important, important profession. All right, record tying warmth. Yesterday we briefly spiked out at 63 degrees tying the uh, record that was set in 2017. And by the way, that was the warmest day we've seen in the cross since November 16th when it was 68 degrees. So we're talking over three months ago. And Eau Claire, you hit 57, just missing tying your record high by one degree. So again, this incredible uh, warm, mild month of February continues. 21 of the 22 days have been above average. Again, we continue to be on track for the warmest February on record and the second warmest winter on record, which also includes December and January. That almost full moon setting in the western sky, you can see some high clouds starting to move in from the north and west. 29 degrees at the airport, 30 downtown at the station. A little bit of a breeze from the south at 5, making it feel like 24. Eau Claire, good morning to you folks. 30 degrees with some high clouds starting to move in. Now notice some cold air locked just north of the border. Some of that's going to 
to spill southward over the next 24 hours. So a little taste, kind of a brief taste of winter for the next 24 hours before we start to warm up again uh, by Monday and uh, Tuesday. Temperatures currently in the 20s to right around 30 degrees. Winds not overly strong, so wind chills only about 5 degrees cooler and clouds increasing from the north. That's where a cold front will drop southward quickly across the region for today. And as it does, it might find just enough moisture to squeeze out some rain and snow showers in spots this afternoon. Sky Tracker shows that with increasing clouds but dry this morning. But by early to mid-afternoon, some snow showers, rain showers, especially along and east of the Mississippi River. And then those quickly taper uh, this evening with decreasing clouds overnight, colder conditions overnight as well. And then dry for our Saturday with a mix of sun and clouds and highs generally in the low to mid. 40s. Today, though, will be chillier, right around 40 degrees for La Crosse and Onalaska, Barry Mills and Shelby. Uh, low to mid 40s down to the south, but chillier to the north because you'll feel the effects of the cold front first. Uh, 37 in Alma, 38 in Mondovi, 39 in Arcadia, and 37 in Osseo. Lower 30s for highs up towards Ladysmith and Cornell, right around 35 or 36 in Eau Claire and Chippewa Falls. So my forecast for today, clouds thicken this morning, chillier, that chance of rain and snow showers this afternoon, highs around 40 degrees. Tonight, chance of flurries this evening, decreasing clouds, colder overnight, lows in the teens, but wind chill factors in the single digits. 44 tomorrow, kind of breezy, back in the 50s on Sunday, lower 60s, possible record warmth again on Monday, still pretty mild Tuesday, upper 50s to near 60, with a slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm, and then sharply colder Tuesday night into Wednesday with a chance of snow showers. Breezy Thursday, 42. We welcome in March like a lion, right? Normally, that's the saying, but not necessarily this year. Highs near 50 on Friday, 59 next Saturday. So uh, we've been saying it. Buckle up for this ride of temperatures in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s over the next eight days. Alexandra? All right, Bill. Thank you. The time now is 620. Still ahead on your morning news, an American Red Cross initiative is helping not only help provide more blood to patients with sickle cell disease, it's also helping celebrate the black community this Black History Month. Playoff hockey, playoff boobs, and the best wrestlers in the state looking for a state title, plus two NBC rivals clashing on the hardwood. All of that coming up on The Blitz. The 2024 Early Bird Home Show is your opportunity to transform the exterior of your home into something truly better than new. New seamless steel siding or attractive vinyl siding, new soffit, fascia, gutters, and window trim. Even new windows and doors will make your home better than new. Call, visit, or reach out online for a prompt free estimate on transforming the exterior of your home during the 2024 Early Bird Home Show, only at the board store. What I love about T-Mobile is that just about anywhere you go, you're going to have coverage. Where I live is a rural area. The coverage has been awesome. Reliable coverage is super important for me, for my business. And after investing billions to light up our network from big cities to small towns, T-Mobile is America's largest and fastest 5G network. See for yourself. Try T-Mobile's network free for three months. Your phone, our network, no strings. The President's Day sale is going on right now at Carl's. This is your chance to save some presidents, if you know what I mean. Save up to 45% on major appliances, plus exclusive in-store specials. You get free installation on select dishwashers. Save up to $1,000 on Serta base sets. Save up to 70% on in-stock TV stands and councils. Stop in and save some of these during Carl's President's Day sale, going on now. Carl's, your servicing dealer since 1956. Seven-day-old tuna casserole. How'd you know that? Even my nose is strong. You need Hefty Ultra Strong. It has arm and hammer, continuous odor control. Hefty, Hefty, Hefty! Oh, and uh, Toby needs a bath. Stay one step ahead of Stinky. You'll find the Ram you're looking for at Pischke Motors in West Salem or Pischke Motors in the Cross. Stop in now during Ram Truck Month to get 10% off MSRP plus discounts on the new 2024 Ram 1500, 2500, and 3500 Laramie and Rebel. Ram 1500 is the most luxurious and technologically advanced Ram 1500 ever. Ram's 2500 and 3500 best-in-class available 50-gallon fuel tank keeps you on the road longer. This offer ends February 29th. Start your search at Pischke.com and then drive away in your new Ram. Welcome to the Blitz. State wrestling is here and the action is non-stop. Divisions two and three taking center stage last night. Let's get right to it. To the Cole Center we go, starting at 106. 
Cashin's Parker Mills now up against North Crawford Seneca's Jared Grimsled. Close match in the third, but Millsna gets one last takedown and that secures it. He gets the win. He moves on to tomorrow. In D2, GT Melman's Colton Cost living on the edge of the mat. Gets the reversal. Cost would get the win 11-5. He's on to the quarterfinals. D3 at 126, New Lisbon's Alexander Radovich in action. Up in the third period, Radovich wants more. Turns his opponent, gets the pin, and he's on to tomorrow. Gunnar Wolpat representing Royal Waniwak. He picks up the fall late in the match. He's on to the quarterfinals at 132. Prairie to Sheen's Drake Ingham trailing in his match. But check this out, rolls through, catches his opponent on his back. Count him up, gets the back point. Ingham's moving on. Juanis with a bunch of guys, including Zach Malin at 144, picks up the reversal. He would get the win and joins the other Blue Golds in the quarters. DeSoto's Seth Greeno checking in at 165. Greeno was lights out on top, stacks up his opponent, and that's going to be a pin. Greeno's moving on. We've got a lot of other wrestlers still alive, so be sure to tune back in today to see who advances to the semifinals. Caledonia opening their postseason run, hosting La Crescent Hoka last night, first half. Lancer's looking for some momentum. Evelise Cody gets a look from down low. Count it. Visitors still trail by double digits. Caledonia's keeping the heat on. Nicole Bancy can't connect. Kenzie King is there for the putback. Warriors lead by 24. Later on, Caledonia's Josie Foster with the fadeaway jumper for two. Home team extends its lead. Foster finished with 19. Warriors on a mission. Foster again with the ball, cutting to the hoop for another two. All Caledonia in this one. They get the win, 65 to 32. Spring Grove also opening postseason play, hosting Southland. First half, Lions' Kylie Hamill passes the ball off, gets it back. She's going to bury the three. Spring Grove with the early lead. Lions start moving fast. A couple passes sets up Emerson Ingvelson on the baseline for the layup. Home team extending its lead. More from Spring Grove. Check out how open Siri Conkle is from beyond the arc. She makes it count for three. Lions get the win, 67 to 40. It's one of the best rivalries in our area. Central hosting on Alaska in the regular season finale. Hilltoppers up four at the break. Riverhawks rallying in the second half. Joey Protaski lays it in. It's a two-point game. Other end, Evan Anderson finds Adam Skifton down low. Lead back up to four. Central answers back, though. Henry Meyer knocks down the long three. Riverhawks would tie this one at 43 apiece, but Onalaska pulls away. Ian Cole in the corner, splashes home the triple. Hilltoppers hang on 59 to 54. They wrap up the regular season with the perfect conference record. Royal can clinch the outright Scenic Bluffs title. They hosted Bangor. Pick it up first half. The seniors showing off the chemistry. Pretty pass to Tucker Wilds. He's going to lay it in. Panthers in control at this point, but Bangor not backing down. Chase Horseman, shot fakes, drives tough to the rack to give his squad the two-point lead. But the Panthers start to pull away. The drive, the floater, off the glass, count it, plus the foul. Royal goes up by six. Then off the fast break, it's Trey Wilds this time, taking it home, finishing with the finger roll. Panthers clinch the Scenic Bluffs title as they get the win over Bangor, 53 to 37. Let's go to La Crescent, the community ice arena jam-packed. Lancers hosting Winona in the section quarterfinals early on. Charlie Weezer coming up with save after save. Sophomore getting some big stops early. And the Lancers capitalize. Other end, Noah Gillette gliding toward the net. The senior lights the lamp. Lancers take the lead. Gillette celebrates with the student section. It's 1-0 La Crescent. Less than two minutes later, it's Gillette again. This time he's denied, but Wyatt Farrell's got his back. He puts in the rebound. Lancers take a 2-0 lead. This one turned into a shootout late, but the Lancers hang on for the win. 7-5 the final. They'll take on Dodge County in the semifinals on Saturday in Rochester. That's going to do it for the Blitz. We'll see you tonight. So you missed the boat show. Come to Holman Marine this weekend and see a larger selection of new and used boats than what was at the boat show. Hundreds of new and used boats and motors. Trade-ins are welcome this weekend at Holman Marine on Holman Drive.
I have type 2 diabetes, but I manage it well. It's a little pill with a big story to tell. I take once daily Jardians at each day start. works 24 7 in your body to flush out some sugar and for adults with type 2 diabetes and known heart disease Jardians can lower the risk of cardiovascular death too serious side effects may include ketoacidosis that may be fatal dehydration that can lead to sudden worsening of kidney function and genital yeast or urinary tract infections a rare life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur stop Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this infection ketoacidosis or an allergic reaction you may have increased risk for lower limb loss Call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of infection in your legs or feet. Taking Jardians with a sulfonylurea or insulin may cause low blood sugar. Jardians is really swell, the little pill with a big story to tell. Stressless by Eckerness. The most comfortable seating in the world is more comfortable than ever. It's on sale now at Drury's and Fountain. Every year, Eckerness updates styles and leathers, and that means outstanding values. And now we're passing these savings on to you. It's time for you to enjoy the incredible comfort of a stressless sofa or recliner in your home. Now at fantastic savings. A stressless recliner is your place. A place to relax, a place to unwind. Stressless furniture on sale now at Drury's and Fountain. Today, I'm joined by Joe Carlson of Gateway Scouting, and he's going to talk to us about the upcoming year for the Boy Scouts of America. Some of our winter highlights this year include a big tubing adventure out at Whitetail Ridge at Fort McCoy, ski and snowboard day coming up at Mount Lacrosse. We've got a big polar cub camp happening at Camp Decora. We've got the Pinewood Derby coming up through the winter as well. Families are welcome to join us at any time as their schedule allows. We're excited to be hosting our annual Golden Eagle fundraiser coming up on Thursday, March 7th. For more information, you can visit gatewayscouting.org. So you missed the boat show. Come to Holman Marine this weekend and see a larger selection of new and used boats than what was at the boat show. Hundreds of new and used boats and motors. Trade-ins are welcome. This weekend at Holman Marine on Holman Drive. You expect more. So thank you for watching News 8 Now. In your medical news this morning, a new study is shedding light on how the immune system may play a role in a person's risk of developing cancer. Researchers at Mount Sinai in New York found people with different versions of a gene have a reduced risk of lung cancer. The researchers also found the effect was particularly pronounced among smokers. The researchers hope these new findings will lead to more effective prevention strategies to help combat the disease. This Black History Month, the American Red Cross is celebrating its partners in the black community who've helped increase and diversify blood donations for patients with sickle cell disease. That is the most common genetic blood disorder in the U.S., and it primarily affects black people. Torian Small spoke with donors and introduces us to one sickle cell warrior. Multiple pageant winner Dima Hendricks has thrived in the limelight and persevered through the darkness. I do remember the look on my mother's face um, when, she, when they realized I had a stroke um, at 11 years old. Hendricks was diagnosed with sickle cell disease when she was just six months old. The genetic blood disorder impedes the cell's ability to carry oxygen, resulting in excruciating pain. I've had open heart surgery because of blood clots. I've had severe painful crises, a blind in one eye. Before advances in drug treatments, the mom of two needed frequent life-saving blood transfusions. Without the generosity of the people that donate blood for the Red Cross, I wouldn't be here. Since the Red Cross launched its sickle cell initiative in 2021, the number of black blood donors has jumped about 50 percent, regaining ground loss during the pandemic. Dr. Yvette Miller says about one in three black donors will match a patient with sickle cell disease. Because some of the antigens on our red blood cells are more common uh, from people of African descent, we're more than likely to find the most compatible unit within the black community. The American Red Cross leans on community partnerships like this one with the Boy Scouts of America to help underscore the impact of black blood donors. If you donate blood, you're helping many people, not even just one. First time donor Jason Harmon rolled up his sleeves. Sometimes you just need to volunteer, be a part of it to, in order to affect change. Hendricks hopes more black donors will give this life-saving gift to sickle cell warriors and anyone else in need. The Red Cross has also provided more than 138,000 sickle cell trait screenings at those donation drives.
And the Wisconsin Assembly sprinted to the end of the current legislative session yesterday, tackling nearly 100 bills on the floor. A bill creating grants to battle PFAS has passed on a party line vote, but the governor is unlikely to sign it. Governor Evers has signaled a veto because he says the bill limits the DNR's ability to hold polluters accountable. Under the bill, the DNR needs landowner permission to test water for PFAS and can't take any enforcement action against those who spread PFAS without a permit. The DNR would also be on the hook for any contamination cleanup where the polluter either isn't known or can't pay. Assembly Democrats Jill Billings of La Crosse and Katrina Shankland of Stevens Point proposed two amendments to the bill before the vote. The first would have allowed the DNR to set PFAS limits in groundwater. The second would have allowed the DNR more enforcement authority. The legislature tabled both of those amendments on party line votes. Billings in a statement signaling disappointment over the bill's current state. She went on to write in part, instead of passing meaningful legislation, the Republican members of the assembly passed a flawed and incomplete bill. Scientists believe they've cracked the code on one of the ocean's biggest mysteries, revealing how whales communicate through song. CBS's Ian Lee has the story. The wonder of whales can capture the imagination, not just their majestic movements, but the melodies they make below the surface. The only way for these animals to communicate on the water is by sound. And so the only way for them to find each other is by sound. Sounds like this. Stirring an orchestra of haunting songs in the ocean, which have been a bit of a mystery until now. Larynx is no doubt are responsible for the sound production in these uh, this group of whales. Danish researchers studied voice boxes from three dead stranded baleen whales, including a humpback taking their larynxes into the lab, blowing air through them to see what tissues might vibrate. They found whales use a cushion of fat and tissue that no other animal has to sing underwater. They did a fantastic job, I would say, at reconstructing the process by which sounds can be produced. Scientists also found the shipping industry drowns out whale songs, preventing the animals from talking to each other over long distances. If they can't find each other, they can't mate. And if they can't mate, there cannot be any population growth. Researchers hope the findings will strike a chord around the world to keep whales singing their songs. The study was too tiny to be definitive, but experts hope Govery will guide future research into how whales communicate. Time now is 636. Here's News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl to tell us what to expect on our morning commute. A little colder out there today, Bill. Yeah, and before we get to that, those whales kind of sound like my dog over here snoring. Uh, I wish I was joining her because uh, it's early still, but hey, it's Friday, right? The weekend is upon us. All right, uh, a look through city cam showing that uh, almost full moon. It's full tomorrow. Just peaking above the uh, bluffs over southeastern Minnesota, some high clouds starting to move in from the north. So we'll probably see some sunshine to start, but clouds quickly increase as a cold front drops south across the region. That's in our drive cast with increasing clouds this morning. Chillier temperatures today. Now this afternoon, watch for the chance for some scattered rain and snow showers, and that could cause road conditions to become fair, maybe even briefly poor if we see any heavier snow showers, especially east of the Mississippi River. So uh, just something to monitor this afternoon and early this evening. All is quiet this morning, but that cold front uh, knocking on the door, it's going to zip southward and uh, again eventually find some moisture to squeeze out some rain and snow showers. Current temperatures in the 20s to around 30 degrees and it will be chillier today with highs ranging from the lower 30s far north to the mid 40s far south will be right around 40 here in the cross. I will have the rest of my eight day forecast coming up on the other side of the break. Alexandra. Thank you, Bill. Before we head to break, time to look at today's Look Who's Eight. Alan is turning eight weeks old today. He loves to be held, eat, and be on his tummy. Vera is turning 80 today. She loves spending time with her family and going to the casino. Well, happy birthday to them. And if you know a special someone turning eight weeks, eight months, eight years, 18, 80, or 88 years old soon, we'd love to feature them. Just upload their photo to our website, news8000.com, and look for the Submit Pictures button right there on the home tab. Stay with us. We are chatting with one of the co-owners of BP Smokehouse in Toma in studio to not only give us a good time, but show us some of his delicious smoked meats on this week's Foodie Friday. This 
is Ford Truck Month. With amazing offers across an amazing lineup of Ford trucks, make way for the event that only comes around once a year, featuring the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Super Duty, the North American Truck of the Year. Get ready and get to Ford Truck Month. Now get 1.9% financing for 72 months, plus up to 2,000 in total savings on a 2023 Ford F-150 XLT, only at your local Northland Ford dealers. It's the hy V BOGO sale this Friday through Sunday. Buy one, get one free on Blue Bunny frozen desserts. Buy one, get one free on marinated pork loin fillets or tenderloins. Buy one, get one free on Doritos. Buy one, get one free on 7-Up six-packs. Buy one, get one free on High V potato chips. And buy one, get one free on High V cottage cheese. Don't miss the High V BOGO sale this Friday through Sunday, only at High V. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. The President's Day sale is going on right now at Carl. This is your chance to save some presidents, if you know what I mean. Save up to 45% on major appliances, plus exclusive in-store specials. You get free installation on select dishwashers. Save up to $1,000 on Serta base sets. Save up to 70% on in-stock TV stands and councils. Stop in and save some of these during Carl's President's Day sale, going on now. Carl's your servicing dealer since 1956. We know you care. But if this is all too real for you and your loved ones, make the call. Because we care too. Home instead. To us, it's personal. Welcome back. A happy Friday morning to all of you. It is currently 641. Boy, with all that sunshine yesterday, we briefly spiked out at 63 degrees out at the La Crosse Airport, tying the record uh, yesterday, which was 63 set in 2017. And by the way, that 63 was the warmest day we've seen in La Crosse since November 16th, when it was 68 degrees. So we're talking over three months ago. Eau Claire, you hit 56 degrees, just missing tying your record high of 57 by one degree. Hey, have you seen uh, the rings around the moon? You've heard a ring around the collar. How about ring around the moon? This is called a moon or lunar halo. Uh, this was Wednesday night. Uh, we've seen this a couple of nights over the past week or so. Uh, this was up in Black River Falls. Thanks to Janelle for this shot. Uh, what's happening here, we've got some high thin cirrus clouds, ice crystals in those clouds, and that's refracting and reflecting the, the moonlight, kind of dispersing it, uh, creating that ring. So that's what you're seeing there. A lot of times that can indicate some moisture heading our way or a storm system because of those high thin cirrus clouds moving in in advance of a storm system. All right, just some high clouds right now. Speaking of Cirrus clouds, 29 degrees out at the airport, 30 downtown, uh, feels like 24 with a south breeze of 5. 30 degrees for you folks in Eau Claire with a wind chill of 24. Uh, westerly winds at about 6 miles per hour. So temperatures not overly cold. You can see some very cold air just north of the border where you see those purple colors. But locally, most spots in the 20s to right around 30 degrees. But it will be chillier today. Uh, winds not overly strong yet, but they'll kind of pick up from the uh, west and shift to the north as a cold front passes through 5 to 15 gusting to 20 miles per hour. So clouds 
sitting to our north, that's in advance of the cold front, which will drop southward pretty quickly through the day and increase the clouds. Also bring a chance for some rain and snow showers in spots this afternoon and early this evening. Sky Tracker will show that mainly dry this morning, but by early to mid afternoon, Sky Tracker is indicating the chance for some snow showers, rain showers as well. Uh, watch for a brief burst of heavier snow showers might slicken up the roads in any spots that see that, but with the recent warm temperatures, roads should mainly stay wet. Uh, any precip quickly ends this evening with clearing skies overnight. It's going to be colder tonight and then a mix of sun and clouds for our Saturday. Temperatures today will be chillier either side of 40 degrees in the La Crosse area, uh, low to mid 40s far south. So you're going to be the mildest because you'll see the uh, cold front effects last and then chillier to the north. In fact, lower 30s for highs up towards Ladysmith and Cornell, mid 30s in Eau Claire and Chippewa Falls. Colder tonight, mid teens in the La Crosse area, mid to upper teens far south. Might see some single digits to around 10 in our traditional colder parts of Monroe, Jackson and Clark counties and then right around 14 for Eau Claire and Chippewa Falls. For today, clouds thicken this morning, chillier, chance of those rain and snow showers this afternoon, highs around 40. Decreasing clouds and colder tonight, lows in the teens, but wind chills in the single digits. Uh, dry for the weekend, 44 tomorrow, back in the 50s Sunday, uh, flirting with records again on Monday with a high of 62. Still mild Tuesday, small chance for a shower or a thunderstorm, and then sharply colder with some snow showers. Tuesday night into Wednesday, breezy next Thursday. March 1st, next Friday, normally comes in like a lion, not necessarily this year, 50 on Friday. 59 next Saturday. Alexandra is cooking up some barbecue. Back to you. Every week for Foodie Friday, we talk in studio with the business people and culinary artisans behind outstanding local restaurants, bakeries, cafes, bars, and more. This week we're joined by Darren Price, owner and operator of BP Smokehouse in Toma. Darren, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being with us. You brought some amazing looking stuff. Um, too bad there's no such thing as smell-o-vision because it <laughs> smells so good. I wish the viewers could smell it. Um, but tell us a little bit about what you brought today. Uh, I brought uh, some of our smoke pulled pork. Okay. Uh, it's been on the smoke for about 14 hours, mm -hmm. um, and this is the final product. Yeah, okay, so we're just going to dive right in Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Take a little try. There's nothing wrong with pork for breakfast, That's right? right. Barbecue is I for got breakfast. got a huge piece, so we'll try to um, break that up. While you just tell us a little bit about uh, your business, BP Smokehouse. Well, BP Smokehouse uh, was established as a, a competition team back mm -hmm. in 2000. Um, in 2003, we started winning. 2004, we appeared on the Food Network, mm -hmm. and it became a business. Um, and uh, so my wife and I uh, bought a, a jewelry store in Toma, and uh, this was right before I retired from the Highway Patrol. And we converted it in 2015 into BP Smokehouse. And uh, BP Smokehouse is a barbecue restaurant mm -hmm. uh, and also a sauce and rub company. Yes, okay, so yeah, you brought some sauces with us, mm -hmm. and we do understand that you, uh, your recipe for the sauce is award-winning, isn't it? Tell that, us about that. That is correct. The American Royal, every year, uh, they have a contest, uh, blind judging. Um, our category was 385 entries. Out of those, ours took third, and so we're entitled to um, a ribbon, and we can, uh, by their auspices, we can put the ribbon on our labels now, so... Uh, quite quite an award and barbecue would be like making the Pro Bowl I guess you okay. know, you kind of look at amazing it that way. yeah, yeah. Um, and so for our viewers here where is BP Smokehouse and what are the hours BP Smokehouse is located at 201 Larkin Street mm -hmm. in Toma um, the hours uh, beginning next week are Monday through Saturday um, and um, we're open from 11 till 8 p.m. okay and you also do cooking classes and catering. Tell us a little bit about those. Yes. Uh, our catering business uh, is pretty extensive. We do groups as small as 30 and as large as 4,000. So we have quite a few corporate, and we do an event in, event, uh, in Madison each year, and there's 4,000 people there. Um, so, And also I give uh, barbecue cooking classes because there really are no secrets to barbecue. It's a discipline like anything else, and uh, you just get good at it by doing it a lot. Yeah. So that's what I uh, tell people and share with them. And so we put about three classes on a year. Okay, very cool. Mm -hmm. If people want to attend or learn more about that, can they visit your website or what do you recommend? Absolutely. Uh, just keep your eye on our website. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be posting probably next month uh, the classes and the dates okay. and locations. And I encourage people to sign up. It fills up fast. 
and we get a lot of people from out of state. Okay. So um, it's just it'd be a good thing for people just to pay attention to the website. Yes. And what is your website? So they can. Uh, BPSmokehouse.com. Okay. And so February is Black History Month. Tell us a little bit about your business's relationship um, with the Black community in Toma and the Cooley region. Absolutely. Uh, my wife and my wife and I own the business. My wife is uh, Ho Chunk. And uh, so we are a minority and a veteran-owned business. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm the only, um, uh, we're the only African-American, Native American business in Toma that I'm aware of. Okay. Um, and so uh, we basically, we employ a lot of uh, high school kids. Uh, we are involved with the Black Student Union. Toma has a black uh, BSU. Uh, and so a lot of the kids who are multicultural um, work at our restaurant okay. and so uh, it's it's important I think to give back to the community but also be an example um, you know of hard work we we develop this over years and it's a discipline mm -hmm. and so um, we've had a lot of help along the way from people in the community and so um, it's just been a, a great experience and a lot of fun and um, I'm enjoying it I'm still excited about it and my wife is on the back end of the business, so to speak, you know, kind of in, um, in the background. But she lets me, you know, operate. I got a lot of artistic um, um, uh, freedom in, uh, in, in running the operation. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just been, it's been great. All right. Well, we appreciate you being here. Be sure to check out uh, BP Smokehouse in Toma. And uh, I'll try this as we um, head to break. Wonderful. All right. Thank you. Very, very good. Um, so tender, so amazing. Thank you Thank so you. much for bringing this and for joining us. And we'll be right back after this. During the President's Day sale at PM Sleep Center, you'll save up to $400 on select Sealy adjustable mattress sets. Hurry in early for the best selection. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving lacrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. Want to see a magic trick? Taco John's is turning your dollar into mouth-watering favorites with the new BOGO for a buck menu. Get a signature Taco John's item, then add another for just a buck. Abracadabra, yeah! The new BOGO for a buck menu, only at Taco John's. News 8 Now presents Center Stage, powered by Maury's. Now, what we want to talk to everybody about is the Center Stage program. Maury's is proud to partner up and really support nonprofits in our community. A lot of these places don't have a budget to advertise with. So Maury's stepped out and said, we're going to donate this time and we're going to let the community know. We have seven great stores that are participating, and which is all in the Cooley region. So there's a lot of opportunity to help these nonprofits. And we'll see you on the next Center Stage, brought to you by Maury's. So you missed the boat show. Come to Holman Marine this weekend and see a larger selection of new and used boats than what was at the boat show. Hundreds of new and used boats and motors. Trade-ins are welcome. This weekend at Holman Marine on Holman Drive. News 8 Now and the Co-op Credit Union are taking part in Chase the Chill. Chase the Chill is a project across North America that provides warm clothing to people in need. Scarves, hats, and gloves are hung on trees in parks with notes attached to them, letting people know they can take them. Co-op Credit Union and our community are conducting our own Chase the Chill campaign from December through February. Together, we can keep our community warm this winter. Donations will be accepted at the Co-op Credit Union location in Bone, Alaska. During the President's Day sale at PM Sleep Center, you'll save up to $800 on select Stearns and Foster adjustable mattress sets. Hurry in early for the best selection. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving lacrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. Download the News 8000 app today. Welcome back. It's 6.52. Time for your morning news now. Planned Parenthood of Wisconsin is asking the state Supreme Court to overturn the 1849 abortion ban. In a petition to the high court, the organization asked the justices 
to declare the law unconstitutional before letting lower courts rule first. This comes as liberals control the state Supreme Court for the first time in 15 years. Following the election of Justice Janet Protasewicz last year, Democratic Attorney General Josh Call won a ruling from a Dane County judge but the 1849 ban only prohibits feticide. Planned Parenthood is seeking a much broader ruling that would confirm a right to abortion under the state constitution. A bill creating grants to battle PFAS has passed on a party line vote, but the governor is unlikely to sign it. Governor Evers signaling a veto because he says the bill limits the DNR's ability to hold polluters accountable. Under the bill, the DNR needs landowner permission to test water for PFAS and can't take any enforcement action against those who spread PFAS with a permit. The DNR would also be on the hook for any contamination cleanup where the polluter either isn't known or can't pay. Green Bay Area Republicans say the bill is written to make sure the DNR doesn't target landowners for contamination they didn't cause. Assembly Democrats Jill Billings of La Crosse and Katrina Shanklin of Stevens Point proposing two amendments to the bill before the vote. The first would have allowed the DNR to set PFAS limits in groundwater, and the second would have allowed the DNR more enforcement authority. The legislature tabled both amendments on party line votes. Billings in a statement signaling disappointment over the bill's current state. She wrote in part, instead of passing meaningful legislation, the Republican members of the assembly passed a flawed and incomplete bill. The largest organic farming conference in the nation crops up at the La Crosse Center this week. For 35 years, the Marble Seed Organic Farming Conference has given organic farmers an opportunity to dig into the latest methods and build community. This year's event features speakers, workshops, and panels to help grow the future of the organic movement. I think my favorite part is just, yeah, seeing everybody gathered. I mean, the organic community is a diverse community and so to just have the the energy in this building when everybody's here it just the building just vibrates she added wisconsin has the second largest number of organic farms in the country the conference will be at the lacrosse center through tomorrow and also happening this weekend marcus theaters and movie tavern cinemas showing films that feature prominent african-american actors in honor of black history month those films include The Color Purple, Origin, Girls Trip, and Tyler Perry's A Medea Family Funeral. The films will be shown from today till next Thursday, February 29th. Tickets are $5 a person. If you'd like to attend, you can order your tickets at the website at the bottom of your screen. A cold front's going to drop south across the region today and bring clouds and a chance for some light precipitation as well. Current temperatures in the 20s to around 30 degrees. It will be chillier today with highs around 40 in the cross and a chance of rain and snow showers this afternoon and early this evening. 44 tomorrow, breezy, milder Sunday 52, near record warmth Monday 62. Small chance of a shower and thunderstorm on Tuesday 59 and then sharply colder Tuesday night and Wednesday with a chance of snow showers. Alexandra? Thank you, Bill. Well, bears just want to have fun. These European brown bears are just waking up from a four-month-long slumber. Doesn't that sound good? They are full of energy. First on their agenda, a splash in the pond, a romp through the woods, and a little bit of sunbathing. Naya, Cinderella, Mana, and Minnie are their names. They live at the Whipsnade Zoo in England, where zookeepers keep them on a specialized diet to ensure they're nice and fat for their winter snooze. Some European brown bears are at risk of extinction due to loss of habitat. Well, thank you for starting your Friday with us on News 8 Now this morning. We will see you back here at noon. Have a great day, everyone.